smells really good in here, and that's because we're grilling up a summertime classic with one of our very favorite chefs, the co-host of Food Network's Barbecue Brawl. And this morning, he is here to join us from his own backyard right there. He is Michael Simon. Always good to have you with us here, friend. Good to see you guys. How are you doing? Everyone good? We're doing Great. well, yeah. yeah. We're loving, our, loving your summertime uh, backdrop there. So you're going to do a traditional summertime dish for us, sausage and peppers, but you're kind of throwing us a curveball here. You're not going to put the sausage directly on the grill. Well, we're doing a little sausage and peppers. We start the sausage on the grill, but then we move it to indirect heat. So it starts on direct heat on the grill. And once it starts grilling, I move it over to the indirect heat. You could shut the lid down, and then as the peppers get to the sausage gets the cook, you could add it to the peppers. It makes it super easy. But the first thing that you really need for sausage and peppers, guys, is the peppers. So I have a pan over high heat right here. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to add my chopped garlic, sliced garlic. And you can hear the sizzle. Pinch of salt. You guys want it spicy? Spicy? Yes. Sure. Uh, yes. Yeah, they can have it spicy. Uh, you know, but yeah, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, straight. Come on, suck it I'm up. I'm not that spicy. <laughs> Put our peppers. A little bit more salt. Chili flakes. Some white wine. And then this goes back right on the grill. And we just start to let it cook. If you want it thicker, guys, you could put in some tomato paste, and that really kind of makes it a little bit more like and, full and thick. And we know and here I have some sliced garlic. But Michael, to the sliced garlic, I had broccoli rabe. But you're using salt, your you're using your flakes, grill, and Michael. Goes back on and cooks. Michael, you're using your grill like an oven. So, what kind of tips do you have for people who want to do that? So straight. Really, the the key is is as soon as you close the door on your uh, grill, it turns into the oven. I'm using my smoker today, but the exact same thing. The coals are underneath. I have the coals really hot on one side. I have kind of nothing over here. When I want to turn my grill into an oven, all I do is I shut the lid, mm. and then you watch the temperature gauge. Like this says 450, so we have a 450 degree oven. If I want it to be cooler, I put in less coals. If you have a gas grill, you turn the gas down, and you could get it to cook at any temperature you want. So even if I wanted to bake a cake, I could oh. bake a cake in here. No How problem. about the broccoli rob, Michael? So the broccoli rob, George, we have the sliced garlic. I have the broccoli rob, which I blanched first. You could put in chili flakes if you like. I like to finish them with a little splash of uh, red wine vinegar just for a little bit of acidity. And they cook, after they're blanched and shocked, you could cook them in about a minute or two. So I have some finished sausages here. And what I do is when the peppers get done, I add the sausage to the peppers. Mm. And then I take a little bit of fresh basil, and we just tear it up in there. Mm. And so now you have the basil, the peppers. You can make it as spicy or non-spicy as you want. You take your broccoli rob, and the broccoli rob could go on the sandwich or on the side. Remember, it's nice and garlicky, though. Delicious. I take an Italian roll. Michael, while then you're finishing up there, sausage. I, I got to ask you about a, a minor celebrity in your life, your dog, Norman. He's uh, we, we've seen him on Instagram <laughs> working out with you, so he, he likes to work out with you, but he's not out there cooking with you. What's up? Oh, what a cutie. <laughs> you know, he's still a pup, and he was a little frisky today, so he got his bully stick, and he's hanging out on his bed inside. He, he's He lives the life, you know? It's like when... He, he has a good life. You know, when, when I'm doing barbecue brawl and we're doing Simon's dinners in the backyard, Norman's usually out hanging with me. Um, today he's in, and Stray knows this because he, you know, with his dog, he's in timeout. Yes. <laughs> How do you get him to stay on the treadmill? He does. I got to keep, he loves running on the treadmill, man. He, uh, unlike me, he's very fit. <laughs> What a cutie! Look at yes, him. Yes, he is. <laughs> and I gotta say, you, you know what? I'll be over next weekend for um, for one of these things. So I, I want to come one of these Simon barbecues in the backyard or whatever you're gonna do. I'm looking forward to it. Stray, you are always invited. And you know, it, it's as you know, I like to cook you dinner because after I take all your money golfing, I feel <laughs> feeding you is the right thing to do. <laughs> oh, the rivalry just kicked up. <laughs> <laughs> Looks delicious. We're going to dive in here, Michael. Thank you so much. And everybody, you can see more of Michael on season two of Barbecue Brawl Mondays on Food Network. And you can get this recipe right here on our website, goodmorningamerica.com.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.